the most beautiful thing about life is that you get a do-over, right? You have today and then you have tomorrow and then you hopefully have the day after that. YOLO really becomes a thing. <laughs> Keep watching to find out what book we're talking about today. Hey, it's Kyla Denango and I am talking all about death. You made a fool of death with your beauty, okay? The author of the book is Akweke Ameza. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is literature romance. Okay, so y'all, this book was off the hook. So I didn't read her prior book. So this was my first time reading this author and I'm in the first chapter like, girl, where are we going with this, right? You got people out at bars, they're hooking up and I'm just like, okay, with the sex scene two pages in. Sure. I fell in love with a limb. Oh my goodness, I could see him in my mind, okay? And before I get too far, let me tell you about my favorite quote in the book. And it is actually a quote by Jonah. And so Jonah says, one of my favorite things about people is how we can make disasters of our lives and then recover. Now, you have to read the book to find out why Jonah is so important, okay? But we're following the story of Faye and she's dating and then she meets this absolute love and you know, you have your usual conflict. It, it actually was very abnormal. But you have a conflict and I kept going back to this quote because Jonah's like, you can make a complete disaster of your life and then you can recover right? You can always find the next thing. You can look towards the next step. You can find a way to make it better. And uh, that was the theme, I think, for Faye's entire life, right? And so, of course, in hindsight, now that I finished the book, it makes sense as one of the few times that we see Jonah so that it would be so important. But, but Faye really started to live that. That was a really important part to her entire storyline. Even when her life is not a disaster and you're just like, okay, but what disaster are you talking about? Oh, oh, I should have just waited a couple more pages. <laughs> but there are very few authors where I can just picture them, you know? And typically I'm like, oh, I would love for this to become a movie. I want to see what they would look like. If y'all don't call me to help with casting of a limb, I'm gonna be mad. I I'm gonna be real mad <laughs> because I could see them in my mind, right? So you do eventually go from Brooklyn to the tropical, the sun drenched skin, all of the stuff you're seeing here on the cover, uh, but you just gotta be patient, right? And I'm still not sure of the title. You made a fool of death with your beauty. There were a couple of images of death in the book and I'm still not quite sure. I would love to attend an author's session or an author's like tell all and have a quick aid talk to us about the title because there's a there's a couple interpretations. I'm gonna just leave it like that. And another book that has a title that can be left up to interpretation is We Are Not Like Them. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.